Welcome to The Daily Digital. I'm Kate Murray. In this video, I'll be showing you how to edit an image without using Photoshop. So this is especially useful if you have a picture and you need to change the color of an object in that picture to match your brand. Let's get started. High quality images increase your credibility and increase the perceived value of your business's products. Now, one thing to note is if you are changing a stock image, just make sure the rights include the ability to do so. If you're uploading your own photo, then obviously that doesn't matter. There are two options that I like for beginners, and I'll give you the pros and cons of each. The reason I like these tools is because even a beginner can quickly and easily make changes to a photo. Here's an example of Pixelaire. If I wanted to change the background of this photo from orange to, say, this shade of lavender, giving it a more vintage look, it's as easy as browsing through the filters and brushes. It even gives you the option of linking directly with Facebook. The platform is slightly more robust than Canva and is available not just on the desktop, but on mobile devices like your phone or tablet as well. You won't have as much control over your images as you would if you were using Photoshop. So nine times out of 10, a professional graphic designer would not be using these apps. It's really designed for beginners, so small business owners and solo entrepreneurs who don't have the budget to hire a professional graphic designer and need the tools to do it themselves. Both options allow you to crop your image, overlay text, and add a drop shadow, which are the main things that you would need to be doing. The other thing businesses need to be able to do is change the size of their image because now most high definition cameras take photos with a 5,000 by 7,000 pixel resolution, which is way too big for the web. So when you take into account the average laptop screen size is only 960 pixels across, most images need to come down to only about 1400 pixels to appear super crisp. Anything larger than that will make your website load time very, very slow. So the downside of Pixelair is that it doesn't show you your image resizing live like PinkBunky does. So it's important to know your exact pixel resolution before resizing your image. One last note, PicMonkey has an extension for your Chrome browser available. So as you browse the web, you could actually grab an image from any web page that you're looking at and open it inside your photo editor. Keep in mind as you're browsing that you can't just swipe an image from somebody's website or even from Google Images. The best thing to do if you don't want to pay for stock art is to browse a free library such as Unsplash or Pexels. I've included links to all the tools mentioned in today's video in the comments below. See you next time on The Daily Digital.